For Mashable, I'm Eric Shute. New details about the so-called Xbox 720 are slowly slipping free from the inside out. Sources close to the project tell IGN the next Xbox will ship to retailers in late October or early November 2013, packed with a powerful graphics processor based on AMD's 6000 series. This contradicts earlier guesses that the new Xbox would run video with AMD's 7000 series Southern Islands processor. So can the day at the beach, but IGN says don't worry, this processor will be akin to the Radeon HD 6670, which offers support for DirectX 11, multi-display output, 3D, and 1080p HD output. The chip currently has a market price upwards of $79.99. Currently, the 360 boasts an ATI Xenos, which is roughly equivalent to the Radeon X1900. And if you're not too keen on knowing the chip's wafer counter, low volume yield, then just remember this number, 6. That's how much faster the 720 is expected to be compared to its 360 sibling. But for all speculation, a writer for Escapist Magazine notes, I take this with a grain of salt, however. Microsoft has confirmed nothing yet, and uncompromising analyst Michael Pasture has labeled rumors of an impending Xbox 720 launch silly. Notably missing from CES 2012 was any sign of a new Xbox update, but its future competitor, the Nintendo Wii U, did make an appearance. Rumor has it, like Xboxes before, the 720 will outshine the newest Wii with a 20% greater performance. Even with the rumored 2013 launch date, Xbox 360 sales are still steady. 10 million new gamers unwrapped their Xboxes during last year's holiday season. From Ashville, I'm Eric Shute.